Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing what blessings coming to the sign of Capricorn, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. What I think you do is we also have a website where currently there's 50% off most store items, and you should definitely check that out, okay, because the sale ends um, the end of this month. And if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so, because that does help out here. Now, I'm going to put these cards in order, and... On the bottom of the deck for the overall energy here, we have the Fool. The Fool Capricorn, that tells me that you're just, you know, you're carefree at the moment. You're just jumping into things, okay? You're being spontaneous. You're just going for it. We have the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, okay, look at this Capricorn, so you got, huh. You know that communication you've been wanting, okay, that news, whatever this may be, it feels like from a person, right? You've been really wishing for communication, okay, where you aren't speaking, okay, with this person. It comes in when you are like that, when you are, you know, in your own energy, you're in your own element, when you stop focusing on it, that's when it comes in Capricorn. When you start living your life, you start, you know, just doing things how you want to do it. That's when this communication comes in here, Capricorn. It's like when you've completely forgotten about it, actually. Isn't that how it always works? So on the bottom of this deck, we have the Four of Swords, yes. It comes in when, like, you've... Completely let that go, to be honest. You have the Eight of Cups. The Fool, once again. We have Love. See, we were talking about a love situation here, Capricorn. We have the Emperor, which is Aries. So we have Aries and Leo here. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. With the Five of Wands here, yes. Okay. That's when you have this person wanting to jump into love with you. Okay. I'll see business is going to be good for you here, Capricorn. Okay? I see you going somewhere. The Fool, the Eight of Cups, like traveling. There could be some upcoming travels here. Now, we have number 18 with anxiety, so maybe some of you are feeling that. Number four, the universal midwife, birth. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. So this can talk about actual birth, like childbirth, pregnancies, all that. Or just talk about, you know, like creating something new depending on which resonates for you. Then we have good luck. So overall good luck here, Capricorn, which is always, you know, good, because it's good luck, okay? So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, definitely subscribe. Bye, guys.